I'm quoting here. Our poll indicates that bartenders aren't in love with scotch in the way they are with brands from other categories. This is Top Whiskies, and we do videos about whiskey every week. We try to make whiskey fun and accessible, and I really want to talk about this. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. We do new videos every week, and we give away a free bottle of whiskey every month, and you don't want to miss out. Drinks International did a survey of 127 bars in 38 countries around the world. They asked the bartenders to name their favorite brands. And a whiskey brand didn't crack the top 10. And first, my emotion was shock. Then sadness. Then anger. Why wouldn't a whiskey brand be in a bartender's top 10? I just, I couldn't believe it. And I guess I started to try to think about why that might be, but before I say my thoughts, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. This video is kind of just me musing out loud because I just think that's really bizarre. I then looked through the rest of the report. One of the other sections that Drinks International does are the 50 most popular cocktails. And in that, there were only three whiskey cocktails, an old-fashioned, a penicillin, and a whiskey sour. And I guess that kind of makes sense, because I'd probably struggle to think of three whiskey cocktails besides a penicillin, an old-fashioned, and a whiskey sour. Those are the three that I think of. So maybe they're not being asked for as much in a bar. And then my thought process again, what does that mean? Why aren't people asking for these cocktails in bars? And I guess the first thing could have to do with, well, the history of cocktails. They first started making cocktails in the 1920s, and at the time, there obviously wasn't a lot of Scotch whiskey in the United States, where sort of cocktails were truly invented. So that could be a reason. The other thing could be that there's kind of a reverence about whiskey, and people don't think that you should mix whiskey into a cocktail, and maybe that's why people are loath to do it? But is that right? I guess when I think about some of the really popular restaurants in London, they're popular because they use the best ingredients, and when you talk to these world-famous chefs, all they talk about is how important the ingredients are. So, if you take a really great whiskey and you put it into a cocktail, does that not make an amazing cocktail? I mean, I don't know. When I think about it, I've never really had a cocktail with a premium whiskey in it. Maybe it wouldn't make a difference, but I'm inclined to think it would. Again, what do you think? Can you leave some comments? Have you ever had a premium whiskey mixed in a cocktail, or is that just genuinely a sacrilege. Maybe it is. And maybe that's why bartenders don't name whiskey brands in their top 10. But lots of places I go, I still order a whiskey, and I might have one as a highball. And I enjoy that. Am I the only one? Let me know. Um, we'll do a poll. Am I the only person that likes a whiskey highball? Am I the only person that walks into a bar and wants to order a whiskey? I certainly hope not. I know this was probably a bit of a weird video, but it's just something I wanted to talk about, and I just wanted to know what you guys think about it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do new whiskey videos every week, and we give away a free bottle of whiskey every month. So make sure you don't miss out. And if you win that free bottle of whiskey, it's obviously totally up to you if you want to put it into a cocktail.